Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Grapher. Grapher is a powerful 2D and 3D graphing software package. In this video I will cover saving, exporting, and printing files from Grapher. Saving a file will save all aspects of the plot so we can open the file in the future in order to modify it. Clicking File, Save will save the file to the same name, location, and file format. When this command is used, the file is saved to its original file format by default. Click File, Save As to open the Save As dialog, where it is possible to save the file to a new name, location, and or file format. There are three Grapher file formats, GRF, GRT, and GPJ. The GRF file format, which is the default save file format, stores the graphs internally without the data. Instead of saving the data, it saves a link to external data files such as DAT, CSV, or XLS files. To edit the data associated with the GRF, edit, and then save changes to the external data file. Changes to the data file will update the graphs in the GRF file. This file type is useful when data files are frequently updated. The GRT file format is a template file format which saves the graphs without saving any internal data or links to external data. As such, when you open a GRT file, you'll be prompted for the data files needed to create the graphs. This file type is useful when the same types of graphs will be created often from different data files. The GPJ file format is a project file which saves the graphs and the data internally. As such, changes to the original data file used to create the graph will not update the graph. To update the graph with new data, open the internal worksheet in Grapher and make the edits there. Likewise, changes to the internal worksheet will not be saved to the original external data file. This file format is useful for sending to others since the plots and data are stored in a single file. Beginning with Grapher version 16, Grapher project files are backwards and forwards compatible, meaning all three file types can be opened seamlessly in any Grapher version 16 or newer. New features are not backwards compatible, so for example, if a project saved with a new feature was opened in a version that did not contain that feature, the file will open, but the new feature will not be present in the saved file. If you need to save the file back to Grapher versions 10 through 15, select the appropriate choice in the Save As dialog. New features will not be present in the newly saved file. After setting the desired options, click Save to save the file. To send a graph to someone who does not have Grapher or to insert a graph into another application, use the Export command. To export a graph, click File, Export. In the export dialog, set the file name, location, and format. Grapher supports exporting to a wide variety of raster image file formats, such as TIFF, JPEG, and PDF, as well as vector file formats, such as AutoCAD, DXF, Esri Shapefile, and EMF Windows Enhanced Metafile. We will select the PNG image format. Unlike the Save As dialog, there are three additional options at the bottom of this dialog. If the box next to Selected Objects Only is checked, the export will only contain the selected objects, which in this case is the bottom set of plots. Leaving this unchecked will result in an export of everything visible in the plot document. If the box next to Show Options dialog is checked, an Options dialog containing additional settings will appear once we click Save in this dialog. It is recommended to leave this box checked. If the box next to Use Graph Coordinates for Export when applicable is checked, the exported file will use the graph coordinates rather than pixel coordinates when possible. Click Save to proceed to the Export Options dialog. The contents of the Export Options dialog change depending on the type of file format chosen in the Export dialog. For an image format like PNG, these options include pixel dimensions, document size, and color format settings. Click the Defaults button to reset the Export Options to the defaults. Click OK to complete the export. 
If you do not wish to export your graphs, Grapher allows for printing to a PDF printer or a physical printer. To print a graph, click File, Print. This will open the Print dialog. In the Printer section, the available printers are listed in the Name drop-down list, and the advanced properties for the selected printer can be accessed by clicking in the Properties button. In the Print Range section, like in the Export dialog, choose to export the entire graph or just the selected objects. In the Copies section, choose how many copies to print. In the Printing Methods section, choose how the exported graph displays on the page. The three options are Truncate, Fit to Page, and Tile. Truncate prints only the objects that are within the page size as it is defined in the Page Setup dialog. All objects outside of the page will be clipped. Fit to Page reduces the size of everything in the plot window until they all fit within the page as it is defined in the Page Setup dialog. Tile splits the graph into multiple pages. When this option is selected, the Overlap section becomes available. Overlap, along with the Scale, determine how many pages the graph is split into. In addition to determining numbers of pages for the Tile method, Scale can also be used with the Truncate method to increase or reduce the size of the print. 100% is the actual size, 200% would be twice as large, and 50% would be half as large. Click OK to begin printing. This concludes the video training for saving, exporting, and printing a file from Grapher. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.